Okay, hey everybody, I'm Jason and I'm here with Josh and Marcus. We're going to do a WrestleMania 34 predictions uh, podcast. Um, you guys want to say, you can say hi or anything. Hello. That's Josh. Hello, it's Marcus. And Marcus. Um, we are just going to literally do a predictions. We'll run through the card as they have it up on Wiki. I'm not sure the exact order or anything that they're going to do for the card. Um, but we'll just go from what we see, and uh, we'll start with the Andre the Giant Memorial Battle Royal. Uh, they only have like ten people announced. Something like that. Not, I think yeah, it's nine. It's... They have nine people announced for that, and like ten women announced for the uh, for the women's. The men so far, you have Dash Wilder, Scott Dawson, which is cool. Um, I love the revival. Mm-hmm. Uh, you have Baron Corbin. And Mojo Raleigh, which it kind of sinks off pretty quickly right there. Uh, Ty Dillinger, which I think he might have got injured. There was somebody that just got re- injured. There was some, something I up about it today. I thought it was Ty. I'm I think it might be Ty Dillinger. Yeah. Um, and then you have Woken Matt, which would which be interesting. Which makes no sense because you just spent a month getting Woken Matt, and he's in the Andre the yeah. Giant. Yeah, know. you wait a year to bring the guy out, and then he then he just did the ultimate deletion, which and then it's basically and it ended uh, the feud with Ray Wyatt. Yeah, uh, but yeah, but For I now. mean, I, I mean, you go from having the greatest return in WrestleMania, like. History, pretty much. That like, was so awesome. That I was amazing. So oh my god, I did too. My and girlfriend's like, "What are you doing?" And I'm just like, "Yeah!" Just screaming. screaming. Yeah, I, that that was the biggest pop in the night for me. I and exploded. Then you go from that to the Andre the Giant Battle Royal. Yeah. With us, with a fake plastic trophy. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, true. at least he's doing something. At least he has a match. Yeah. Right. Unfortunately, Jeff is injured. Actually. Er, I think he cleared. just got cleared, or there's something where he is. Yeah, he's getting. Yeah, he will be probably cleared. I think he cleared. got cleared, but I think he's still dealing with the unfortunate DOI he yeah. got a couple weeks ago. Yeah, yeah, which is which is nuts. Um, you also have Dolph Ziggler, which I don't I don't know that what guy? the hell they're doing with <laughs> Dolph Ziggler. He makes that big stink on the, yeah. that podcast with the Edge and Christian. Uh, then they give him the U.S. title like a week later, and then he's like, "No, fuck it, I'm retiring." Just to come back like two weeks later, yeah, mm-hmm. and then now he's back to doing nothing. He does the whole weird, right, re- the like the well, he's record been doing scratch. That for- yeah, but then his music starts when he's like yeah. halfway out. You're like, what the fuck is the point? You have to still have that stupid song and that everything's all flashy. It's basically not to give the crowd what they want. They want to hear yeah. the music right away. Yeah, and it's just it's kind of just a giant middle finger to them. It- just because they've given him nothing but a middle finger. And then they, and then they also have uh, Marcus's favorite tag team is going to oh. be involved. <laughs> we were just talking about this earlier, <laughs> uh, Pandango and Tyler Breeze. I mean, my tag team probably will be involved, but of course they'll be the one that first eliminated. Oh, they'll the be eliminated. Yeah, they'll be eliminated. They'll walk Wasn't into the a- ring and then they'll stumble into each other and fall out of the ring. Well, because yeah. they treat the Ascension like they're just bumbling retards. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, they treat them. Yeah, they treat them both like they're like Hawk when he's drunk. <laughs> like yeah, you're the, you're the LOD. We got it. We got this. Um, They're hawk with. Do you guys uh, have any Heidenreich? Do you have any predictions or is it? Because like with this one, uh, uh, there's like my as predi- much as I want to care. Like I think I, there will be a winner. That's about yeah. as far my as I can. My prediction is I'll be at the food table. <laughs> <laughs> Somebody will tell me who won. Yeah. And I'll be like, cool. Yeah. Um. I mean, because it doesn't really do anything for anyone. I mean, <laughs> Corbin got the most out of it out of anybody who won it. Yes. 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 He's the so, depending who else is announced for this, because more likely to announce more people tonight and tomorrow night, right? Since Raw and and SmackDown, yeah. Um, and more than likely, we'll probably see like maybe four, three or four NXT guys, yeah. Because usually they do that for yeah. the, the kind of matches. So yeah, they fill them out with those guys. Yeah, I um, the you're right, Baron Corbin. The thing that they should have when they had the chance, they and they still do. It, Cesaro should have just been pushed to the moon. Yeah, I mean, I rewatched that uh, battle royal. I was showing Dale it just because I wanted to see. I wanted to show him when he big when he scoop slams the Big Show yeah. and like really scoop slammed him so much yeah. where the Big Show kind of lost his balance trying to grab the rope, and you're yeah. just like, holy fuck, that guy is so powerful. Yeah, yeah. Um, I'm gonna I'm gonna say a surprise. Gronk's gonna win. <laughs> Mojo's in the match, sir. Yeah. Gronk, oh, it's his best friend. 
Let's see. That's see. And Mojo, <laughs> Mojo won it last year, right? Yeah, yeah, because yeah, it was him and Jinder. Yeah. yeah, it was Cesaro, then Corbin, and then J- then Mojo. Yeah, yeah, yeah then this is oh, Big no, Show. Big, big, big Show, show won the second it. one. Yeah, 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 Big Show won. Yeah, yeah he's the second one. one. And he's so, not announced for anything. So unless he he's in it, um, I'm gonna go with uh, Tyler Breeze. <laughs> I'm gonna go with Fandango. Yeah, I actually honestly have a pick for this, and it is, is, is Ziggler. Really? Just because he wanted that push and push, yeah. this might be just even though it's gonna be a huge, huge push, it just be something that he hasn't done just to kind of give him. He's probably something. The, of the people announced. He's the biggest name. Yeah. I mean, yeah. other than like maybe you can argue like Corbin. That's just because of the year he had. Even though they kind of. Took if everything anything, away. They can make him the first ever two time. Yeah, I mean, you could say over overall popularity throughout time is probably Matt. Right. Uh, yeah. But with the Woken gimmick, unfortunately, yeah. it brings it down. Yeah. I mean, it, I enjoy it. I I enjoyed it when it was the Broken gimmick in TNA. Yeah. I enjoy I enjoy the Broken gimmick, but I enjoy the Broken gimmick as that guy that's always throwing the monkey wrench into something. Yeah. He's never winning a match. He's, right. But he's always throwing the monkey wrench in for that one person. Right. Right. And then the whole and thing with like him and Bray and everything, you just kind of don't know. Like Maybe Bray will come out and help him win, and then that's when you're just like, you know, holy Brother sh- Bray. Yeah, you're just like, holy shit, or whatever his middle name is. I don't know if Bray yeah. Wyatt has a middle name. But um, whatever his real middle name is, maybe we'll use that. Yeah. Um, so... Yeah, IRS. other than that, yeah. I, arrest you, I was hoping he would be Brother Rotundo. That would be awesome. <laughs> brother Rotundo would be so cool. Um, and then you can convert his brother, too, which would be awesome. Even though they're doing great in the Miz Taraj. That's the only part of the Miz Taraj that I like. It's the only I, part I, of the Miz that I like right Yeah, now. see, I don't like the Miz. I don't get it. Um, and he's so popular, I just I don't get it. Um, okay, so we'll move on to the women's side of that the not fabulous moolah invitational yeah. battle royal that really turned on them very quickly really what happened yeah <laughs> yeah and the, when snickers is like hey you're not gonna do this and you're like oh okay you're right we're not we're so sorry it wasn't even <laughs> like as wwe said it snickers is like no we've gotten so many complaints that we're your main sponsor you're gonna you're gonna not right. do this yeah uh she used to uh do some terrible terrible things um <laughs> i mean you could go so many different directions. Oh and yeah, you you know that there is a following out there that know how much this woman did. Yeah, oh yeah, and you're like, maybe they forgot about it. <laughs> yeah, no, just kind of kind of like the Hogan thing. Yeah, <laughs> we call it you know the Alondra Blaze. Yeah. I don't know why you wouldn't. I yeah. love the Alondra Blaze. She was so ahead of her time. Like when you go back and watch those matches. Those women are are a thousand. They they wrestle how the men wrestle now. Like you know what I mean. Yeah. They're so far 100%. away, far and away better it was, than. It was the fabulous Mula, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was the Mula. Why didn't you change it to May Young? They well, she Young. has the May Young Classic, right? Yeah. And then just change it to May Young Battle Royal. Yeah. I mean, well, see, I, I think maybe the May Young they'll probably do every so often the the classic because like I think this year they're supposed to do some. They're supposed to do like a Latin America classic. I think yeah. was the was the rumor that's been going around. Um, I mean, but there's so many women wrestlers that you could, you could, you call anything. I mean, China, you could even, China, China right. Or you could do China, exactly. You or you could there even you do like Trish just because she's yeah. like, you know, she pioneered. But Alondra Blaze, I think, would have been perfect. Yeah. Or just any of them. You can make the friggin' Cindy Lauper Battle Royal. <laughs> <laughs> Which is insane. She's still not in the Hall of Fame. That's nuts. Yeah. Kid Rock is, and she isn't. And she isn't. So well, isn't is Kid Rock is this year, right? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Still Which is what makes off. me very scared about that match you might have with John Cena. Because cause he, he sang American oh. Badass theme. Yeah, that's the rumor. And if he comes out singing American Badass and Undertaker comes out, then I that's when I go to the food table. <laughs> and I love the fucking Undertaker. Um, so the women, so far they've announced Sasha Banks, Becky Lynch, Liv Tyler, Naomi. Oh, okay. Apparently Ronda Rousey just got put through a table by Stephanie. <laughs> she got a nice butt. Um, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we got raw in the background. <laughs> it's just full disclosure. Life. It's for live vlogging too. <laughs> yeah, yeah, right. Yep. <laughs> um, okay, so you have Sasha Banks, Becky Lynch, Liv Morgan, Naomi, Natalia, Ruby Riot, Sarah Logan, Bailey, and Lana was recently announced. Um, and then you'll probably have a few more. You have your NXT girls in there to round it out. I don't know how many they usually pick. I don't know if they have a number for these battle royals. If they did, I they ever have a set? Think it's twenty. It's twenty. Yeah. It, <laughs> And so you have 10 women announced already, so then um, maybe we'll get lucky and you'll get some of the NXT. You'll get... um, May bring back some of the legends they did for Rumble. Yeah. 
Um, uh, well, God, what was the girl that won the cla- uh, the the May Young Classic? Uh, 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 Asian. Kyrie Kyrie Sane. Sane yeah. yeah, she's incredible. That uh, elbow drop is just fucking bonkers. Yeah. Uh, for that, I don't know because I don't know if they haven't announced it's for anything, well, right? Is it just for automatic... bragging rights? It's like a King of the Ring kind of thing, it's like with be the a, Andre the gonna, Giant. Yeah, it's gonna be bragging rights. Yeah. But immediately, in the first what four names, yeah, it's better than the men's. Oh yeah. Uh, I mean, I'd rather watch that than the Andre the Giant. Honestly. Yeah. yeah, you could have any of the any of those women, other than maybe like Lana. Of all the women, are potential winners in this in this yeah. thing. I mean, right. there's no like. Uh, maybe they'll, it'll be, I'm thinking it might be Sasha just because they're going to complete her heel turn. You know, the whole her and Bailey thing. I, Bailey I've, over the rope. Yeah. Last, I don't, last, last right. Last yeah. Maybe think that, oh, we're friends and blah, blah, But then like she keeps betraying her and ba- it kind of makes Bailey look like an idiot. But, yeah. um, I think it's probably going to be Sasha Banks going over just to solidify. Maybe she's going to really do that heel turn. I mean, um, I'm kind of thinking the same thing. My only other choice would be Becky Lynch. Yeah. This is the first year doing this, right? Or they did it last year? No, no, this is the first time. Okay. Yeah, this is the inaugural. I mean, the only thing, if they do Becky, it would be, again, she's with the first timer. Right. Since she was the first SmackDown. Yeah. That's I mean, I would be okay do. with that. Yeah. I would, I would, I, that's who I want to win, but I think they're going to pick Sasha just because she's been kind of getting that, that push. I think Becky Lynch is super un- underutilized. I mean, she had a big push for winning the, uh, the beginning of the SmackDown the split again. Yep. Winning the, the, the women's champion. And she had a great championship run. And then, yeah. what was it? And then, um, what's her name later, took over? Alexa Bliss. Yeah. yeah. I, the match think, I still amazing. think it was a BS ending to the match. But the match, it, yeah. up to the ending, yeah. was amazing. Yeah, the yeah. matches were good. It just, as soon as she lost that belt to Bliss, they, they were, she was buried. They didn't the know what day. to do with her anymore. Yeah. Luckily, well, she got the fan vote to get into the Mixed Match Challenge, which is cool. Um, that's kind of like her her character has never developed yet. Sh- straight fire and all this other stuff, but you don't... They don't give her any time like they give the Bailey and Sasha's thing, so there's right. nothing really you can build off of. Yeah, and they do the whole thing where she's like... Like the whole underdog thing that like, that's, like they do the, with Bailey And Bailey it makes sense, but like... You look at Becky Lynch, and you're like, she's going to beat the piss out of some people. You know what I yeah. mean? She's like a firecracker. And that's what's yeah. cool. You know what I mean? You don't look at her because, I mean, she's, like, with her arms and everything, you look at her, and you're like, okay, this she's pretty jacked, and she's in good shape. I mean, and, she's not jacked. She's fit. Right. But you know what I yeah. mean? Um, who do you have? Naomi. You have Naomi. Yes. Really? Yeah. I, I love watching her matches. Like... I love watching her entrance. Yeah. <laughs> that's my favorite part of her and match. And that's, that's one of the best. Her entrance is incredible. Let's look. Hold on. Real quick. Let's look at her development. She was a Funkadactyl. <laughs> yeah. She was uh, Uso. Yeah, she was in that. What was the tag team she was in? It was like right before I started watching again. She was a tag team with some other girl. No, that's part of the Funkadactyls. No, that's yeah. right. It was the yeah. Funkadactyls. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And she was a cheerleader right. for a... the. Whatever his name uh, was, Brodus Clay. Brodus yes, Clay, Brodus yep. Clay. yeah. Whatever he's going by now these days. Yeah. Uh, now he's going thing. by. He is a uh, a contributor on Fox News. That's a real thing. <laughs> oh, Jesus! Um, I know he's doing like TNA for a bit afterwards, but yeah, yeah. Um, but like her, she she can re- redesign pretty well, and the whole nightclub thing, I think it's cool. And yeah. She's fun to watch in the ring. Oh yeah, she has some good moves. I love the the spike Hunter Cronish does when the guys the other opponents kneeled. Yeah. And oh yeah. It's just yeah. so hard hitting. Yeah. Yep. Mm-hmm. Yeah. No. She she's really exciting to watch. Um. Okay. So we'll just move on up. Not saying this is the order, but this is the order they have it in. Um. You have Daniel Bryan and Shane McMahon versus Kevin Owens and Sami Zayn. And if uh, Kevin Owens and Zayn win, they get to come back to SmackDown, and if not, then they don't get to come back. They still are fired, and I'm like, you get to work when you're fired. That's weird. You can come to this job, and if you have a really good day, you're not fired. (laughs) But if you have a bad day, you're still fired, but we need you to work. Um, You're just fired from wrestling. Yeah. I hearing. Yeah. That's right. Right. What I think is that uh, you can't do this part. You get to go sit out there and sign autographs yeah. for a week yeah. until until you run back to the ring and, and we're beat somebody still else. Still yeah. gonna pay you. Like, yeah. Oh, okay. It's the greatest firing ever. Yeah. You get to you're fired from wrestling. 
But you're going to wrestle. So, <laughs> so you mean I, I, I don't have any matches scheduled? No, no, you have a match scheduled. It's just that WrestleMania. That's right. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. It's, the, it's the big one. Yeah, you don't have to worry about wrestling for like three weeks before that. Yeah. You WrestleMania. just to come in, trash talk, kick somebody in the face, go home. Go home. <laughs> yeah, right. Maybe powerbomb them into the apron because you're an evil person, which yeah. Daniel Bryan should have never took that. <laughs> um, so I so you have Bryan and Shane versus Owens and, and uh, Zayn. And I can't see... Uh, Kevin Owens or Daniel Bryan and Shane McMahon losing. I <laughs> sad part is I really can. <laughs> I I really can for the simple fact of like it's probably gonna be Bryan by himself for a majority of the match. Yeah. Um, and you can only overcome so much. They know they know this now. You can't you can't have one guy just demolish two guys. It gets boring after a while. Right, and they. I think they did it right when Daniel Bryan announced his return, and basically destroyed him at the end of the show. Right. I I thought it was a perfect way to bring him back. Now, does my thing is does he does do they do the same thing where he's by himself again? If he is, I think he needs to lose. I mean, yes, there is an asterisk on the match because Shane is going for the surgery. Yeah, he's got a match before against Diverticulitis. Yeah. I don't know how you put a man on a card when he has Diverticulitis. Uh, It's just something they didn't think of. It's it's WWE. They don't make the smartest choices all the time. Yes. Yeah. Um, So, who do you guys have? We haven't got to that part yet. Oh, okay. We're We're just kind of discussing the the build-up to the match. If Shane... Oh, if the... Yeah. If Shane is, is there full, like... Doing across the ring, you know, kick in the face nonsense, which I like how they tout that as like he's the only one that can do it. Yeah. And when you see these guys jumping in training and touching the other turnbuckle right. and stuff right. like that. Yeah, but, they have. A, um, I think you'll, because you know how Shane is though. The guy got in the fucking uh, helicopter crash and he's just like, nah, I'm okay. Let's just go. <laughs> let's do it again. Um. So I think you're going to have Daniel Bryan and Shane McMahon win that match. I can't imagine Daniel Bryan coming back and losing. See, I have this is the way I see it. If it's Daniel Bryan and Shane, yes, they're, or they're going to lose. Yeah. But if Shane can't make it and it's Daniel Bryan halfway like by himself for the majority of the match and then someone comes out and helps him, then I can see Bryan and the mystery partner winning. Okay. I or see that. even have Owens and Zayn win by DQ somehow. That's so they a, still they a, still win the match. They still but not a, yeah. they don't get the pin over Brian. That's that's a good one. I like that. Um, I can see. I I really want to see Brian and McMahon win. Right. Um, but I know like I've watched WWE for thirty years now. <laughs> well, WWF, NWA, all that stuff. Wrestling. I just I just know McMahon. <laughs> and okay. I know what he's thinking about doing. He wants to push this a little bit longer. Yeah. And WrestleMania is not the end of stories like it used to be. Right. So I mean, it, it'll be it'll be fun to see. I don't I don't I really don't know. Uh, I'm gonna say Brian and um, McMahon just because I want it to happen, but right. I, I don't know. I mean. Again, like you were saying, WrestleMania is not the end anymore. I can see this going on. Maybe, like I said, they win by DQ, and then Brian and Shane fight it. It's like, and SummerSlam maybe coming to an end. Yeah, that, um, that's a that's a that's a good idea. I mean, um, I I'd love to see Zayn and um, Owens in his traditional Survivor Series match against Team Brian. Yeah. That would be so cool to me, and we get you know Brian brings in you know Shinsuke and all these guys. That would be amazing to me. Or, um, or even just Brian versus Sammy, or Brian versus Kevin. Absolutely, because Those if you go back and look on. at any of their match, any of these things that they'd worked together a long time ago, before even WWE got a hold of them, right. it was amazing. I mean, hey, these are the shows that you know. Uha Nation Apollo Cruise or whatever yeah. was starting the show 
Mm. I mean, that that guy has more talent, his little finger. And you head it up with guys like Daniel Bryan, Sami Zayn, and Kevin yeah. Owens. Those were amazing matches, and yeah. I'd love to see it at a pay-per-view. No, it's like it's one reason I got big into them like came to the, to the WWE, because watching Daniel Bryan, going by his real name in the indie leagues, is Bryan Danielson. Yeah. Kevin Owens was Kevin Steen. Yeah. And then Sami Zayn was a luchador called El Generico. There it go. It's amazing. <laughs> and it's like I I I loved I loved El Generico. I think it was one moment. Um I think I can't remember who it was was calling the match. I think it was Mike Tanay or something like that. I hear this. And he goes, and that means the generic one in Spanish. And I'm like sitting there going, it doesn't mean that. It doesn't mean that. Ah, I just love, uh, I love Zane. I love Owens. And I love Brian. I mean, that match is going to be awesome. I just don't know if I'm going to like the outcome, how they do it. Like I said, it all depends on Shane. Look, yeah. All around, it's all on Shane. Yeah, absolutely. Um, but we're going to move forward. Uh, they got Kurt Angle and Rousey versus Triple H and Stephanie McMahon. Ooh. <laughs> Ooh. Just one person in that ring you can trust to actually <laughs> perform a good match right now. Yeah. Um, and that's H. Yeah. In all honesty, uh, Angle is, a st- in my opinion, he's a st- Stiff as like he, he has can be. He has major ring rust. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. We saw that with uh, when he was the TLC match. Shield. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, he looked terrible. Um, and, and, and you know that's that's no knock on Angle. I mean, he's got serious yeah. issues going on, but you shouldn't put him in a forefront like you are if he is with those issues. But again, no name pulls more. Than the '90s right now, right? Um, I just I don't know if Rousey's ready for this. Like uh, the what I've seen from week to week, it's only big slams and hard hits every once in a while that doesn't make a good match. Right, so little in between things. Honestly, with this match, I I think it's to be seventy five percent Steph and Rousey. I just because I'd be amazed. I mean, not in a bad way. Yeah. Like amazed in a good way that they give they give her that much time. Now, what are we talking about time wise? You know, could it be oh five minute filler or a ten minute? It's kind of what the Rousey uh, Triple H. Oh, is that the next one they had on the list? Yeah. So wait, so who did you guys pick for your the tag match? I oh, we bro. both wanted. You think Brian McMahon? Yeah. Um, well, the way I went was it all depends on Shane. Yeah. If Shane and Brian. If Shane makes it, yeah. I see Owens and Sammy winning. If, if it's Brian alone for most of the matches, oh, someone like comes a, out, yeah. then I see Brian, the mystery opponent, or the partner, winning. Right. Or if anything, have Owens and Sammy win by DQ. No, it would be cool, though. I just thought of this for double duty, is have Daniel Bryan be uh, Braun Strowman's uh, partner. That would just be, I'd be like, yep, yes, yes, <laughs> yes. I'd be okay with that. Um... So, uh, all right, so I right, yeah, so I had Daniel Bryan and Shane McMahon. I would, I'm just not a big Kevin Owens guy. I love Sami Zayn, but I'm not a big Kevin Owens guy. Um, so I, I kind of hope he doesn't win it. Uh, you gotta love the heels, man. I don't, I don't. Heels are just not very good anymore. There's very few good. That's heels. why he's good because he's very... one of the best heels around. Yeah, see, I don't know. I, like he is good, but then the the thing with me was that when he had that picture of the Universal Title with his son holding it and then i instantly got in the comments and i was like fuck him and fuck his son and people are like you're such a terrible person like no no no. he's the bad guy if hitler had a picture with him holding the the title with his son i'd be like fuck him and fuck that kid too (laughs) because they're the bad guys i can't argue they're the bad guys (laughs) fuck both of them Right, but sometimes the bad guys break he can be he can be pretty entertaining him and him and jericho were Phenomenal. Yes, that was the greatest the, thing in a while. When he when he turned on Jericho, the list to KO, that whole segment was the, probably the best segment that I've ever seen. It was so well shot and planned. You knew it was coming, but still the way they did it, why is my name on this list? You yeah. know, that whole, and then him beating the piss out of him, I'm like, yeah, okay, that's, that's awesome. <laughs> All right, so you have Angle and Rousey versus Triple H and Stephanie. Um, I hope to 
God that Triple H and Stephanie do not win this match. I'm sorry, I'm going to go off on a little something real quick, because we are watching Raw in the background as we're doing this. Whose character got hurt it, hurt more than Sonya Deville with the sign of Ronda Rousey? Oh, yeah. I'm, I'm this ultimate fighter chick. Oh, yeah. oh we're going to bring in the best ultimate fighter chick of all time. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Shit! <laughs> Right, and then you're not even the best member of your group. Yeah, yeah, they like you're probably like the third best member of your group, and one of them can't even wrestle. So yeah, they, the Ruby Wright, and or not, well, no, that's right, no, this Liv is the Morgan. Page one. Yeah, yeah, this is the Page. Yeah, Page. Yeah, the Liv Morgan and um, Sonya and Page. Sonya Deville. Yeah. Oh no, is it, no, it's Mandy on here. Liv Morgan and SmackDown. Mandy oh, Rose. Right. Yeah, yeah, Mandy Rose. Yeah, the I'm Mandy so Rose. Oh, she's so, so hot. Son, Sonya Deville push up was too soon. Yeah, because they didn't develop an NXT yet. Yeah. yeah, they literally just made the same group twice. Yeah. They're like, oh, we got a riot squad. Well, we need a page squad. Yeah. Absolution. That, yeah. Which is such a shitty fucking name. Yeah. Oh, they have the they have the uh, trophy up for the... Women's. Yeah, the women's uh, battle royal, whatever yeah. that may or may not be called. Um, mm. So, Kurt Angle and Ronda Rousey, it's... I mean, we're pretty much going to agree that it's, it's Angle. I mean, Angle you can't Rousey. have Rousey losing yeah. her. So you'll probably do a finisher, whatever new finisher is, to Stephanie, and then that's how she's going to... As was saying to Josh, is 75% of the match is probably going to be Rousey and Stephanie. Just because how stiff, how ring-rusted Angle is. Yeah? Because we saw that in TLC, how he was kind of really stiff. Yeah. It was bad. Yeah, see, I think it might be... I'm kind of leaning more towards it being more Triple H and uh, Angle, just because Rousey's so inexperienced that maybe they'll... I think theirs is not so much going to be a wrestling match, more as like them just beating the shit out of each other. You right. know, so Angle may not have to worry so much about his wrestling ability. Oh, for a second, I was like, why is Bailey beating that girl up? <laughs> That's Sonya Deville. Yeah. She's just Bailey. Oh, there's Sasha. All right, so Sasha's in there to save Bailey. See, this is what I'm talking about. She's going to save her tonight, but she's going to beat her ass at that rumble. Yeah, but. Does anyone else miss, miss the unpredictability of Raw? Like, yeah. I knew that was coming. The minute this match rolled out and I saw all three of them come out and Bailey came out by herself, I'm like, hey, guess what's going to happen? Oh, and yeah. then they throw him over the top rope like, oh, I can throw you out of the top rope. Yeah, yeah. you did it in the Rumble. We get it. You know how to do that. Yeah. Now they could th actually throw some major curveball here. They may, I know it's hard to do. Because Bailey's one of those kind of characters. Turn Bailey. Have turn Bailey. Oh, turn. You I'd should. Be so happy. You should have a Bailey turn. It's like you never pulled the trigger with with John Cena. Why wouldn't you with the Bailey one? They got real close a few times with Bailey, just like John Cena. But they can actually change Bailey. Yeah. Whereas John Cena was is too. He's but too much you, face. But it, there you oh, go. Oh yeah, like that. Bailey just beating the shit out of Sasha Banks now. Jesus. Um. That was a yeah, hard hit. yeah, the Bailey thing would be cool just because I would love Bailey to be like a self hugger, like she just hugs herself. You know, like <laughs> how they used to do the pat on the back. Who did the pat on the back? Uh, uh, Chavo. No, yeah. there was the the Barry Horowitz. Yes. Oh, he was the, yes. He was the WF like jobber. He was like the uh, new age Brooklyn brawler, and he would always pat yeah, himself yeah. on the back. But he never won. Yeah, he was in that group with uh, a Van, Ham Van, Van Hammer. Was it? Van? Yeah. That dude looked amazing. Why was he never big? Yeah. Like I, I don't understand. Um. So you got who do you guys have for the Daniel Bryan match? Uh. uh well, yeah. Do, it's, Brown Rousey. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. So then we have Cedric Alexander and Mustafa Ali in a tournament that I have not watched a single match of. I I'm not. A two, I. My favorite part of wrestling in the '90s was the cruiserweight division. Um, but I'm so behind on it. I have no clue what any of that stuff is going on. So I'm thinking Cedric just because they've been trying to give it to him for like six months. Rockstar right. Spud. <laughs> He's a GM. He's going to win it. He can't win. He's not a wrestler. But I want him to. <laughs> I mean, yes. He definitely meets the criteria of 205. the best thing of 205. <laughs> he did bring it around. Yeah, I mean, um, Cedric's good. He's fun to watch in the ring. A little bland for my taste in the fact that, you know, it's it's the same moves. Right. It, it cruiser weights, you definitely got to be something new every week. Mm -hmm. uh, if not every week, every other week. I don't think we've had... And honestly, like when I saw Ray at the uh, Rumble. Rumble, I was like, oh, yes, here we go. Cruiserweights are back. Because... Yes, he did the classics, 
but he still did some amazing stuff. Oh, yeah. Like, that you wouldn't expect to come out of a, what is he now, 40-something-year-old man. Yeah. With, and, with so many injuries on yeah. his belt, too. And he looked amazing, didn't he? Yeah. Oh, my God. He was probably 40 pounds less than what we saw him in yeah, WWE. He, he's definitely more built, too. Yeah. I mean, he's been working with Lucha Underground, and he's been doing amazing stuff on there. Yeah. I, yeah, I'm behind on that, but just the stuff I've seen, he's yeah. been phenomenal in that. That's why he's... I think I'm in about. Shape uh, than he is. How many episodes are there of that? Uh, 170 something. I'm probably 170 behind. No. <laughs> I watch the highlights of Lucha Underground people. I'm sorry. I, uh, I basically watched the first five episodes, of season three, and then haven't yeah. watched it since. Yeah. Um. No, I. Uh, I I like Cedric for this match. Just I mean honestly. Because it's, it's kind of who they've been building the show around. Right. Uh, Honestly, I'm going to go with Mustafa on this one. Yeah? Just because he's phenomenal in the ring. Yeah. And, he, and they both have great personalities. And the, their match is going to be... It's going to beat uh, Aries and Neville like last year's. So. Yeah. Well, like Jason said, we didn't... You had to tell us that there was a yeah a tournament going on. Yeah. I, and, I, and I looked it up and it started no in idea. January. Yeah. So I've been going on for three months. Yeah, it happened after uh, the, the Rumble. Rumble. Yeah. yeah, it was like right after the. It was like that probably that week after the Rumble. So I mean, I'd have to. I'd have to. I'm gonna have a different opinion when I go to the thing, but I'm gonna say yeah. Cedric because. Yeah, because they've right. been trying to give it to him since um uh uh, what's his name uh Enzo Swan? was champion. Uh, yeah. Yeah, when like Enzo was champion, they're like, we got to give it to this guy, and then like. All this stuff happened, and uh, like Rick, Rich Swan, right. all that stuff you know happened with him. You know what's and... soft now? His workload. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> That's okay. Uh, all right, so um, <laughs> I'm okay. I'm really okay with that. They should have never broke that tag team up to begin with. Yeah. Make a big cast of heel. You're just like, hey, fuck those guys. Why yeah. would you do that? Um, Let's just ruin it all. So, but I'm guessing you got Cedric for that one. Yeah, I got Cedric. Yeah. yeah. I'm gonna go with Mustafa on that one. I think he's awesome. I love that. Uh, the like the inverted like four, what does he do like a six thirty or does it or is he the one that does a four fifty but it's like facing backwards so many amount of degrees yeah he yeah. does a lot of flips facing the other direction yeah. you're just like oh, okay cool yeah um then the one after that you have the Usos Jimmy and Jay which I'll never be able to tell them apart and neither can the commentary so I don't feel so bad um, the New Day and uh, the Bludgeon Brothers which is awesome and stupid all at the same time. Yeah, the Bludgeon Brothers I love, but I also I'm like this is super corny, but that's it's, kind of the idea. It's, it's kind of why it's 2.0 in a way. Yeah, yeah, but just with hammers. Right, which I love it. Um, I am hoping the Bludgeon Brothers win. Oh, so do I. I'm not a New Day fan. I'm definitely not an Usos fan. Uh, I think they have decent matches together, but I love Luke Harper. He's so I, I think good. The last time I was an Uso fan was. Brightly colored, coming out and yeah, screaming. Doing like the, yeah, boy. yeah, yeah. That was it. And yeah. then they do this whole six months of it. They don't find their character. They're quiet, walking to the ring. Yeah. And just, I mean, in the last couple months, we've seen them start, you know, talking, and it's awful. It's bad. Oh my god! Like, let's do rap battles. Let's not. Yeah. This is not 2001. I yeah. mean, I will say I do like the heel turn. I like the heel turn. It just. That character wise is kind of they're no but they're just guys that they dress like they just kind of dress like douchebags like we got the flat build hat and I don't even I don't even lace up my shoes and I'm like so you're just a normal dude yeah there's just two of you yeah you're that guy that we don't bum a cigarette to right yeah Yeah, I quit smoking last week yeah Yeah, but how many are you gonna smoke tonight yeah. Yeah, uh, that one, I'm really kind of hoping the Bludgeon Brothers win, uh, just because it's... Different. You saw what they did to the... I mean, especially Xavier Woods. I thought they legit hurt him. Oh, well, apparently, he actually did get injured. See, and I thought that was a story thing, but I guess he did end up... Get, but I, but when they slammed him, I'm like, oh, yeah, you you yeah. fucked him up. Like, he's going to have some internal bleeding, or one of his organs is gone. Um, who do you got? Uh, Bludgeon Brothers. Bludgeon well, Brothers, yeah. yeah. Um, See, I would love the Bludgeon Brothers, because one, Harper and Rowan... And Rowan never got the tag belts as right. the Wyatts. Yeah. Yeah. Because it would be awesome to see them with gold. Yeah. yeah. But I'm going to have to go New Day on this one. Just because it's been a little bit since they had the belt. Yeah. And ju- can they're gonna, you know they're going to keep the Usos and New Day going for a while. Yeah. Because that's the only really tag teams that's on that big tag well, teams are and, on. And yeah. Smackdown. I can, I can see where you're going with because honestly, I, 
uh, having watched wrestling as long as we all have, I think we can agree that New Day probably at the end of it is going to go down as one of the better tag teams of oh, all, oh, time. all time. Yeah, I mean they're uh, already the longest reigning altogether. Yeah, right. Now they think they're going to try to work on is the most title reigns. Yeah. yeah, which they got a long way, way to go. go. Long way. I mean, like, I mean, they could do a Sasha Charlotte situation. Oh, like every, every week, other week, they just yeah, keep changing. Yeah, if they were gonna do that, and now's the time. I would like uh, the Bludgeon Brothers to win, just because when you look this at the size of the Usos in the New Day, they're kind of relatively the same, uh, other than you know Big E because he's just Big E. Right. But then you look at Harper and Rowan, and you're like, yeah, each of those guys are like six foot eight. Like three hundred pounds, they should just murder every tag team that there is. I missed the like four house shows and one raw that Harper was really popular. Yeah, <laughs> I missed that one because I love him. Yeah, like, he's I, awesome. He's so good. He did a podcast. Uh, I think he did Jericho's podcast. He did somebody's podcast, and he's awesome. Just listening to him talk, he's just such a cool guy. Yeah. And um, okay, so the next one we have is the the Raw Tag Team Champions. Cesaro and Sheamus versus Braun Strowman and a partner to be determined. Partner to be determined is going to be nobody. And uh, I'm hoping that. I yeah. am not. I do not want the. I do not want Braun Strowman to beat Cesaro and Sheamus. If it was like him versus the Usos, oh yeah, murder them. Yeah. Right. But I love Cesaro and Sheamus, and they're big, burly dudes. You know what I mean? So like them being beat would just discredit them so much. I think it would hurt them so much. And in. The weird part about that is, I think we talked about this the other day, is that tag team looks like there's one world champion and one not world champion. It looks like the roles should be reversed. Yes, Cesaro yeah. should have had the title Whoa. years oh, yeah. ago. Oh, yeah. And he doesn't. And oh, I, he can't get rid of the brass ring. Nobody likes him. The freaking Cesaro section. Come on, Vince. Yeah. yeah. I, I don't He's understand He's so good. It. He wrestles like a cruiserweight. I mean, yeah. the guy does... Like, I want him... I would love for him... To go to SmackDown because I would love to see Cesaro versus AJ Styles. I think or that, Nakamura. Uh, yeah, but the as Cesaro and AJ Styles match I think would just be the best match of the year. The way that they, the way AJ Styles makes other wrestlers work, and the way the Cesaro already works, I think it'd be an awesome combination. Um, I Braun Strowman and whoever his partner is, they're going to win. I can't imagine that they're not going to win. I'm hoping his partner is James Ellsworth. Um, I don't think it's going to be <laughs> James Ellsworth or the other one I saw was like maybe Kalisto, which I would hate. Um, but they did feud for a, a little bit. way longer than they should have. I remember the return of the Horn garbage. Swoggle. Oh my god! Goes by Swoggle now. <laughs> oh jeez! Yes, yeah. he actually does. That's his. Right, that's his indie name is just Swoggle. I would love. There's a few people what I would love to see. What the fuck is a Swoggle? <laughs> yeah, I'm really hoping. Uh, I'm really hoping it's James Ellsworth. If not, then there's a few people like we we're looking oh. up earlier. Mike, oh, Miz had his baby. Uh, fuck you, Miz. Oh, guess what? He's probably gonna win because of that. I don't know. Whatever. Your wife's way too hot for you, bud. Um. But yeah, they. I. I can't. I'm pretty sure Braun Strowman, whoever's partner is, is going to win. Braun Strowman should be fighting The Miz for the IC title. Oh, yeah. Because um, they even had or, a feud or starting. Even, or have a triple threat for the Universal. Right. Yeah. And have him pin. He could pin Reigns and get the belt. That'd be fun. As long as. Well, we'll get to that later. Right. We'll that later. <laughs> um, so, <laughs> who do you have for that match to tag? Braun uh, Strowman or whoever? I, uh. I can't imagine they're going to make him lose unless he gets some ridiculous. He gets some ridiculous I kinda, partner. I kind of want Sheamus and Cesaro to lose for for the simple fact is I really want Cesaro to go do something. Right. That's not a tag team. Stop giving the man a tag team. I I, I mean the yeah, bar's he, cool. I get it. Yeah, I mean they, they've developed very well. Yeah. They went from mortal enemies to best of friends. Yes, and uh, I love how it was that Mick Foley forcing them together thing. Yeah. I loved it. That was awesome. Um, and it started with the whole, you know, you guys win this little tournament and you're going to get something cool. Yeah. And they tie and they oh, become yeah, a tag seven, team. Yeah. And it was like, that's pretty freaking cool. But, um, yeah, I, I see... I see uh, um, Braun and the mystery partner winning. See, like you were saying, is I hope there doesn't be there's no partner to come out. And after Braun, I want Braun to win. Just give him some kind of gold. Yeah. Because he deserves, he's another one that deserves gold just like Cesaro does. Oh, I I have a bad feeling he's going to have Bray syndrome. 
and he's he's gonna be a while before he sees major gold. Right. But we just finally see Braun win it by himself, and then you just see him a back backstage segment. He just first wrestler he sees throws a tag team belt at him. That'd like, be amazing. That would that would be. Oh my god! Epic. Him and the Brooklyn Brawler. Just well, because the Brooklyn Brawler's always there for some reason yeah. now. <laughs> it's just like, like when the first wrestler he sees he just throws the other half of the belt to, and then be like, "Here you go, you're my you're my you're my you're tag team champion now." Yeah. Uh, now introducing the new tag team champions Braun Strowman and Mean Gene Okerlund. Hey. <laughs> Means oh. means deserved a belt. <laughs> if you want to go off it, like like big and little, returning Neville. That be I I'd be okay with that. Have uh, Neville return and be Braun Strowman. I'd be okay with. I that. know. Yes, he should go back to two hundred five because he he was phenomenal as the heel in two hundred five. Yes, but two hundred five was awful. Yeah, just he was that glimmer of hope that gave it and. I, I think he deserves to be back on the main show. Because so. the man Gravity Forgot was a great little thing where, you know, who's he facing this week? And he did so much amazing stuff. Yeah. And I love seeing him on Raw. I, I loved seeing him on Raw. So, but, um, yeah, it's 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 one of those things. Uh, Braun, Braun definitely, if he wins it, he needs a partner that either conflicts with him really well or is quite a like him. You understand? Like, if I, if, if I mean, it could be back to being a Wyatt. <laughs> I mean. Right. And see, for this match, if Rowan didn't come back in time or basically come get cleared mm-hmm. until, like, later. Mm-hmm. Be cool to see Harper be Showman's partner, because then that would have been a good power team. Oh yeah, that would have been a good match just because they're both powerful. I don't think that well team as... would have ever lost in a real life fight. Oh no, yeah. <laughs> which would have been amazing. And they catch these hands. Yeah. What, can I ask you something real yeah. quick? What happened to the champion that just never disappeared? Like you know what I'm saying? Like you had Bruno San Martino hold the belt for seven years. Yeah. Or Goldberg hold the belt for... They said some amount of matches it felt a lot shorter than it actually was. <laughs> uh, you gotta make it, they got to buff it up somehow. Yeah. Um, <laughs> like Jimmy Hart said, uh, he, he one week he had two wins, and the next week he came with 15 wins. Yeah. Uh, it's a little padded. But I... What, he did a lot of house shows. He wrestled a whole house show by every match. <laughs> yeah. House show after... He, that, that Come see Goldberg versus his fifteen opponents in fifteen <laughs> matches. Yeah, um, it's only like a half hour G- show. <laughs> One thing we didn't look at is, I mean, the legends, uh, the Hall of Famers. Um, is there any Hall of Famer that you think that's a perfect spot to bring in a Hall of Famer? Yeah. Um, um I mean, if Mark I, Henry didn't retire. That'd be a good one. Yeah, but never say never in the right. WWE. Right. True. Uh, Gold Goldberg, um, mm. but giving him the tag team titles with Lesnar on the same card. Yeah. Seems. I, I seems can't dumb. see over. Um, who uh, else is there? Uh, who else is on that? Kid Rock. There we go. Kid Rock Jesus. and Braun Strowman as the champions. I'm saying it right here, right now. I'm sending God. that bet bet into Vegas. How much money would I want on that one? It's like. <laughs> Hundred to one odds. I don't think you have to work enough. Uh, it's like after that, I don't think I have to work for a while. Yeah, that's a good one. Um, I mean, have enemies as team bring out Kane. Oh, they, oh they my had god, some, that'd mean, be amazing. I mean, that that's a they have good chemistry. Yeah, Kane is such a good tag team partner. Right. I mean, I, I'm, him and RVD was some of the funnest tag team stuff I'd ever seen. I mean, unfortunately, he is giving up wrestling just because of the whole mayor thing. Yeah, political like, career. If, yeah. Um, he's a, like, he officially made an announcement recently of, yeah. that he's going to quit. Yeah. Uh, um, let me see here. Let's pull up this WWE Hall of Fame class and see if there's anybody in there. I would put with him. Oh, Jeff Jarrett and Braun Strowman. <laughs> do you think he'd be sober enough to do it? I hope so. <laughs> I, I just want to see Braun Strowman catch an accidental guitar. 
Yeah. <laughs> and walk through it. She's like, he's hit in the back of the head. She's like, the fuck? And just knocks out Jared and then yeah. yeah. And be <laughs> amazing. Uh, well, again, we're both returning. Maybe they cast. That, that could be good. Um, Big team. Yeah. Cass um, is, a, is a powerful wrestler. Yeah, he's going to be a little rusty just because he's been injured. The leg and the knee injury, but. Yeah. Not, yeah, I, I, like I said, um, I think it's going to be him by himself. Uh, and it does suck for Sheamus and Cesaro. You're going to get. You're going to get worked over on WrestleMania by one man? They're going to get worked over, yes, but it won't be a squash. I hope so. I hope it's a right. very rough match. I I hope they give it the time it deserves. And it's definitely not going to be, I mean, I hope it's not going to be a five-minute match, but I don't see it being like a 20-minute match. Yeah. I figure probably like at most like 12 or 13 if you want to extend it. Yeah, I can see that. Ten, uh, ten would ten, be acceptable. Ten would be acceptable for me. I don't want it to fall under eight. That would be... Yeah. That, that's the that's the spot at where I start to see uh, domination. Um, yeah. It's... But Cesaro, that's a big dude. That's a powerful dude. I mean, that's... He's powerful. Yeah. Sheamus, I like him. Um, I don't... I didn't like him when I first saw him. I remember I saw him when he first came in. And, oh my god, just, oh, so bad. Um, and then he, Braun, who is undeniably most the most incredible thing I've ever seen in the ring, by a stature standpoint. Oh, yeah. Uh, it's just incredible. Um, that's what they wanted when they did Giant Gonzalez. Right. That's that's what they were trying for. <laughs> they finally that got it right. Show under Terry King. Yeah. Um, but his character development though is going from just muscle, bam, squash, 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 to okay, I want to challenge, challenge, and then just not giving a fuck essentially. Yeah. Mm-hmm. One hundred percent. I'm gonna fire you if you keep doing this. All right, I'm gonna keep doing it. Well, I that was an empty threat because I don't want to fire you. Yeah. <laughs> it's like like this segment with him and Elias when he brings up the string bass and holds it like a regular guitar. Mm-hmm. That was funny as hell. Yeah. But uh, what is the uh, what did you what did you have for? Um, I mean, I would. I mean, I can see Sheamus and Star winning, but I'm gonna go with Strowman just so he gets gold on us. Yeah. Finally. Oh, you know who I thought of. So what did I Return miss? of Santino. Just, just the same, same thing. Oh, okay. We, we try not to go too far while you're watching. Gotcha. Like, so yeah. we have Cesaro and Sheamus and Braun. Okay, yeah, Braun and whoever I think is going to be the new like tag champions. Josh, well, it'd be funny to see. Have Braun Strowman win it by himself. Then there'd be a backstage segment. First wrestler he walks up to just throws the t- other tag team title. Yeah. like, you're my partner now. You're my partner. Yeah. I would like to see... Um, I would also like to see Elias be his partner. No, oh, because Elias, I am. yeah, because Elias isn't doing anything. Yeah, he's not, yeah. On the he's not even. He's not even for the battle royal, More which he probably will yeah. be. But I would lo- Elias because he got a huge push. I mean, he was in the elimination chamber. Yeah, and uh, and he, I hated him at first, but then he start, like with everybody else, he kind of started to grow on me. And he's a good heel. You know, I like that's what I like about. I love him. that whole. Um, he comes out, and I, I, most heels they're pretty quick on the mic and stuff yeah. like that. And he, he tempos it. And yeah. he yeah. slows it down. Yeah. And he allows these people to boo him. And he allows yeah. people to build up yeah. this hatred for him. And then his match happens. Yeah, they give him a lot of time and to do stuff. I love that slowing down right before the match. Right. You take the fans off there. Yeah. Out of their uh, out of their comfort zone because we're used to seeing, you know, the Miz come out blah, 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 match. Right. He slows it way down, which oh, is yeah. really nice to see. Let's something them, different. Lets sure. them come down from the match before. Mm-hmm. Just gives them something, like you said, unexpected. Right. And, and then, then it's, just, it's pure. And then, yeah. His wrestling style is brutal. Yeah. Like, he's gotten, like, jacked. Like, yeah. over yeah. the last couple months, he is so he's big, dude. Yeah. I like it. I, lo- I love watching him. His, se- his, uh, his bit, I fell in love with him with his bit with John Cena. Yes. When they did the thing and he's he's like oh, shushing yeah. him and everything and <laughs> and uh, when he when Dota E stands for walk with Elias, yeah. I'm like, this guy is awesome. Yeah. Um, like I said heels are good. So next one we have is Charlotte Flair and Asuka. Charlotte Flair is the SmackDown women's champion. Um 
This one I'd be more excited about if they started the build at the Rumble or like the day or the two days after, I guess, at SmackDown. Or even at, uh, what was it, Fastlane. Yeah, any time before like the last two weeks where she's just like, it's going to be you. And then Charlotte's like in the in the midst of like this face run. So, because she was fighting, what was it, like the Riot Squad or yeah, whoever? Ruby. Yeah, she was fighting Ruby. Actually, it was that Fastlane that she announced. It was after the Ruby. Yeah, it was right after the, the right, yeah. right. But still, that was, you know, you get a month, month. build. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, when you're the Rumble winner, like you have the, well, other than the men's Rumble, like that's the other most important well, there's match builds, of the night. There's, there's builds, like competitive builds, like what I'm saying, competitive builds, like, uh, you know, Tito, or... Uh, uh, Dang it. Um, Macho Man and Ricky and, the Dragon. And Ricky yeah. Dragon. That yeah. was a competitive build. They didn't. Yes, they talked and stuff like that. But it was a competitive build. They were. Right. They exchanged wins and stuff like right. that. This feels more like a competitive win. This feels like something UFC style. Oh yeah. They, they're both really good. Um, n- neither of them, unfortunately, are really good on the mic. I, I don't like Charlotte Flair's mic work at all. Oh yeah, no, it's not it's great. Too, it's too Ricky. Yeah. And I love Ric Flair too much to be like, all right then. Yeah, so <laughs> you're doing your dad really bad. Sometimes she does pretty well. Like like she does the Elias thing where she talks really slow and you're just yeah. like, God, this lady's such a bitch. But she's like the alpha of the women's division. She's yeah. To me, she's so far ahead of everybody else in the division. I mean, the other women are good wrestlers, but when you look at Charlotte, you're like, that's a women's champion. Right. You don't, I don't ever feel that way about Alexa Bliss. Ever, I look at Lex Bliss and I'm like, I have a four year old that could probably beat you. You know what I mean? <laughs> like, you, they had to make you look like a badass against Bailey. You know what I yeah. mean? So I never, I never got Oscar. I, I, I wouldn't be upset if Charlotte beat her because I love Charlotte. But I, Oscar, I think she should win the title, be undefeated for See, a this year. See, it's the best way to look about that. It's the title versus the streak. Yeah. Yes, because. Yeah. A, either Oscar becomes her first main title, main show women's champion, right? Or Charlotte beats the streak. Yeah. yeah. Beats, so that's one. Way, that's best. And, that, and that'd be the only person I think I'd be okay with beating the streak would be Charlotte, just because Charlotte's like without the title, Charlotte's not the same. You know, if that right. makes sense. You know, what I mean, she's such a good champion. It's like how people kind of feel about like. I guess how Dota he feels about the Miz, where he has to have that fucking IC title or he's not the Miz, and I'm like. Yeah, I don't totally agree with that, but Charlotte is a champion. Yeah. You know, so um, I think that Asuka is going to go over, though. I also think that there will be a cash-in as well, but I don't think it's it's going it, to... I don't think it's going to end well I don't for, think it's going to end well. Yeah, yeah, I think Carmella will cash it in and then immediately get like her face kicked off or something to where... I don't think they'll make it a triple threat match. I hope they don't, because I'm not a big Carmella fan. I could actually, that actually brings up a good point. She may cash in, make it a triple threat, and have Charlotte pin Carmella. So uh, Asuka is technically still undefeated because yeah. she's never been pinned or submitted. Yeah. That is the only way. I would I would not like that, though. I mean, right. I get it. You save Asuka, but right. Asuka's got to win that my, title. Man, I my can't problem imagine is not. there is, WWE is notorious for doing what they know is bad. Right. And they've given Asuka no losses. Yeah. And what happened with Goldberg after he suffered his first loss? I mean, he just fell off the map. Right. Um, you can't... If you're billing this person as the undefeated, where do they go after the first loss? And that's why I'm so scared, because I love Asuka. Yeah. yeah. Um, I, think she'll be the ch- I think she'll be the champion and the being undefeated champion until... I don't know until when. Because SmackDown is kind of... It's not the, like it's Raw. When's the bell here? Rumble. Hold it for that long. Yeah. Give, give a good build. Yeah. Me is early Survivor Series. But who did she lose to? Charlotte. Charlotte. You want? You want I think the only her? person that she can lose to is Charlotte. And the only other person I might be okay with is Becky Lynch. Yeah. Because Beck, it's mm. I'm, Becky Lynch is awesome. Not Natty. No Na- God. Na- Naomi is a close third. Yeah, but even yeah. still, I, I can't take her seriously enough to beat. Awesome. Like she's fun to watch wrestle. I'll totally give you that. But I can't beat. I can't see her as a serious enough competitor to where. She could take out Asuka. Yeah. Uh, uh, yeah, I, I really think uh, that Asuka's going to win the title, and then she'll be she'll do her reign on uh, SmackDown, which I was kind of hoping it would be on Raw, but 
that'll lead into the other match, which I really hope uh, the yeah. title changes. Oh, yeah, me too. Because you then you'll have a you know. But who do you have for that? Uh, I I got Oscar winning it. Oscar, yeah. Yeah, again. yeah. You think there'll be a cash in? I I mean, or an attempted cash in? Because okay. they keep teasing it, I but you only got one more month. Right. I think that's the only way Charlotte wins, though. So, yeah. Because if there's a cash So, cash this, this has a minimum. If it's Charlotte and Oscar, Oscar. Right. If Carmella cashes in... Charlotte. And it's a triple threat, then Charlotte. Yeah. Just or Carmella maybe can... Oscar beats Carmella, and then that's Charlotte's thing to, to the rematch. You know what I mean? Like, Charlotte's like, well, you never beat me for the title. Well, I mean, Charlotte will have a rematch regardless. Right, but I mean, maybe falls. that can be like, that can be like her heel. Even bigger. That's how she could be a heel in the situation. Well, you didn't right. beat me. Um, wait, wait, yeah, I, I just, I really hope that, I, I gotta hope that Oscar wins. Carmella, I like Carmella no. because she's a terrible, like, the screaming thing is super annoying, but that's, that's kind of the point. You know what I mean? Like, she's a good bad guy because she's so annoying you just look at her she's a female uso that's how i feel about her i look at her and i'm like uh you probably have like like the shittiest instagram that it's all just stupid yeah. photos yep. and your stupid flat build fucking hat and and there's a song pictures. it's, it's all, all pictures of food yeah food <laughs> and then like Nicki minaj yeah. or I- iggy azalea because that's what she reminds me of you're like you're those girls that i hate but you do it really well like the <laughs> she was moonwalk like- walk and that stupid the, her singlet now that's like the basketball yeah. uniform. Yeah. Ugh. She she reminds me of that girl in high school that thought she was really popular. She stood on the outside of the really popular crowd. Yeah. <laughs> but then when a party came around, she was nowhere to be right. seen. Oh, yeah. Or if she was at the party, she was super wasted. She yeah. was so drunk. Yep. Yeah. She that's all, perfect. When you're walking in. oversized jackets. And yeah, it's, it's, like, it's 11 o'clock and she's in the bushes. Yeah. <laughs> All right. So then next we have uh, Alexa Bliss, who is the Raw Women's Champion, versus Nia Jax. Now, I, I, the whole the bully thing and the I, Alexa I Bliss just, angle. it's so stupid. Because you look at them and you're just like, well, Alexa Bliss, you were probably like the nerdy goth girl in school anyway, and you just now have dyed blonde hair. That's how she, she reminds She probably really loves anime. Just looking at her, I'm like, <laughs> you probably really loved anime. Um, and the Nia Jax should be a killer. She yeah. should be female Braun Strowman. It's stupid that they're doing the whole, like, oh, she's vulnerable, and they're making fun of me because I'm fat. Well, you were a plus-size model, so that doesn't matter. And then she's really – she's a, an attractive woman. Her face, yes, she's a very absolutely. pretty face. Oh, yeah. Her body is – you know, it is what it is, but – It's thick but beautiful. Right, and there's nothing wrong with how that looks. Um and you just look at her, other than, like, Charlotte, you're like, who should be the ch-? You know what I mean? It's yeah, like right. Charlotte, Asuka, Nia Jax. Those should be your champions. Um, you can't have all three at the same time, but Nia Jax not being the Brock Lesnar of the championship, I don't understand. Yeah. Nobody's never holding believed. gold, period, at this point. It doesn't make sense. She wasn't even in NXT. She never no, held gold. No, yeah. no. she got tapped out, and I hate that. Don't tap her out, because that's stupid. Look, she's a monster. She's I don't way. Think she tapped. I think she was. She fainted. Well, yeah, she, but still. But yeah. I think she has tapped out in one of her and one of her losses. I think and it I, was Oscar. Yeah, so yeah. Which I hate it. I know it's Oscar, but still, like, Oscar's a badass. But then you still have your Nia Jax, where it's like, yeah, you she's save, fighting you gotta children. Save your characters, right. Basically. Right. You wouldn't have Brock Lesnar fucking tap out. So what? No. You know why would you have Nia Jax? Yeah, I, 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 the bullying angle takes so much away from this because we're getting back to. WWE in the 80s. Uh, look at this guy, red, yellow, blah, blah, blah. It, yeah. It's dumb. It's so stupid. It's played through. It's old. I understand why they're doing it. Uh, the whole be a star thing that they do and all yeah. that stuff. I understand it. But I don't I don't like it at all. It's kind of annoying to me. It's not even like I don't like it on a, on a moral high ground kind of thing. I just think it's stupid. It's dumb. It was a bad way to project this match. I mean, they had to give us some kind of story. But again, they... It's a Like we said multiple times in this podcast alone, they do things the wrong way a yeah. lot. Yeah. Um, um, they. One way I would have built it as is she finds out who she's facing. Alexa needs to be the sweetest person in the world to... Nah, let her be the sweetest person in the world for a month. Let her... Oh, yeah, you're great, you're great, great. And then have, and like, tell people, 
where she's getting dressed and have them go in and attack her or something like right. that. Just yeah. play that mafia kind of role instead of this to her face bully kind of thing. Right. Yeah, it's dumb. Uh, it's, yeah, it's it's a cheap way to get over a get over a match. Right. Yeah, I got um for that one. I have Nia Jax winning. Not nice butt. <laughs> <laughs> Not nice butt. Right. <laughs> Giant butt. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, who do you got? Uh, Nia. Nia. I have Nia winning, but not gain a belt. Oh, okay. Yeah. Just. Oh, God. Uh, Flexible Bliss is fucking champion. Yeah. I want Nia to be champion, yes. But I just have a feeling that just because Nia doesn't fit the look, yeah, they want to keep Bliss as the face of the champ women. Which I don't understand at all. But you never know. It's WD. Sometimes they do good once in a while. Yeah, yeah. Um, next match, we got, uh, what, four more left. So you got Randy Orton, who is the, uh, United States champion, only because he never won it. I can't stand Randy Orton. Um, versus Bobby Roode, yeah, Randy Orton. <laughs> Randy Orton is the default character setting when you're making a character in Dota E. That's who it is. When you see that guy, That's you're like, oh, Randy Orton. No, black trunks, black boots, just, you know, buzz cut, regular look at, you know what I mean? You're just like, that... <laughs> That's what a creator wrestler looks like at the fault setting. Why well, do you um, his hair back out? He has like this old I, when he first started wrestling hair. I hate it. Um, Randy <laughs> Orton, Bobby Roode, Jinder Mahal, and Rusev. Which, like, other than Rusev, like Bobby Roode's okay. Oh, don't I don't say, get the don't hype. Say. I don't. I, I don't get the hype behind so Bobby Roode. I. I mean, he's fun to watch and everything. But Rusev, Just think about this. Rusev, this match is missed for the next match for you guys. Oh. Yeah, <laughs> Rus- Yeah, Rusev should win that match because he's he's so fucking popular, Rusev man. Be in the other match, and he should just fall. He's like so. Just... He's so Here, popular. Here's what we can do with Rusev. We can cut him off at when he came out with the tank in his career there, and I wouldn't be upset. I don't like Rusev. I'm sorry. I don't care what anybody listening to this has to say. I hate Rusev. He's such a good wrestler, though. He's really? So like those his his kicks. I <laughs> love those fucking Masha kicks. Yeah. I love those. I hate Rusev. I'm I, sorry. I, I don't, don't care. I don't, I don't like him. I, I can take him or leave him. Not I'm not a huge fan. Oh, I love I mean, Rusev. I don't like hate him, but I can take him or leave him. You know what the best part about Rusev was, and I told you this before, Lana. Oh my god! And yeah, not was... Lana as a wrestler because that's just something that should have never happened. Oh, she is awful. You're oh, thinking yeah. like you have the best trainers in the world and you suck. Yes, just come out with your little uh, skirt and suit top on. Right. Talk Russian, insult me a few times, <laughs> and you're amazing. Yeah. Uh, but you know, call me a fat American. I don't care. I know I'm fat. I know I'm American. You're telling the truth. Yeah. The. Um, um, I'm hoping this is an earlier match because I can't, I would not want it to be later well, see, in the card. Because I'm already going to be burnt out at this point, and I can't imagine. I'm I don't want to watch it's, fucking it's gonna be in the last two hours. Yeah, I, yeah, it'd probably be where they have it on. This I love list. I love how like already we've had like two or three minutes of who we hate, and neither, none of us have mentioned gender. <laughs> oh, he's he's. <laughs> yeah, well, I can't stand him. I don't. I he better not win. No. No, he he was a he's a big he's a big dude. Seeing him with the title was cool to see it just because like when you see him he was pretty imposing looking. He had his little cronies that made him look even bigger. Yeah. But then you're feuding like Randy Orton and I don't give a shit about that at just all. Just think about this. He went from three M B yeah. to fired to world champion. Yeah. Essentially. Yeah. Yeah. Look who really suffered in three M B. The only guy, that the only has, guy's not a champion. Yeah, that I love. So oh no, he much. was tag team. He was tag team champion. Well, but that's he, it. And then, he, and then he's got kids, which I love. Every time I see him, he's got kids. Um, so who do you have? I got Rusev I'm, because I want Rusev to win. It's probably going to be want Bobby Rusev Rube. to win because I'm going to be there with you. It's, <laughs> it's probably going to be you Bobby. Wanna, you want to jump up and ha <laughs> Rusev? Yeah. No, I want Rusev <laughs> to win because I love him. It's probably going to be Bobby Roode though. I think Bobby Roode will win the title again. I, I want Bobby Roode to have it. Yeah, I, th- I really I think, do. I think he'll win it again. I think the Randy Orton thing was just because he never had it, so they're right. going to give it to him. Give it to him on the less popular show, just so he can lose it on the bigger show. Now, a funny never... swerve, though, would be to give it to Jinder Mahal because it's the United States Championship. Right. And then... I mean, he, he yeah. hasn't had it, has he? See, that sounds like a WWE thing to do. Yeah, it is. Oh, he's Indian, and it's the United States Champion. 
Sergeant Slaughter going, uh, this is the longest yeah. kind I've ever seen. Um, yeah, I'm hoping it's Rusev, but it's probably going to be Bobby Roode. I want Roode. I mean, I, I really think it's going to be Roode, just to give that wrestling a moment. Right. But I have a feeling it's going to be Jinder. Really? Yeah. Just because he's been kicked out the sidelines, even though he's been part of the whole story the whole time. Yeah. Yeah. So I'm going to go Ginger. What? Did you say Ginger? Sure. <laughs> Ginger, Ginger McHall. Ginger McHall. <laughs> All right. So the next match we have Miz, the IC champion, versus Seth Rollins and also Finn Balor. It's a triple threat match. So I'm going to say this now. I think each of us can pick one of the, one of the guys. That's why I'm seeing this match going. Yeah, right. I am. I personally am gonna pick Finn. Josh, <laughs> God damn it! I'm gonna pick the Miz. I see. I was thinking Rollins. You're thinking hey, Rollins. Calder. Okay. All right. I mean, I would love so that'll for be Finn. like our tiebreaker. I would love for Finn to win. I hate the Miz, but his IC title Oof. stuff is the only stuff that I've cared about his entire career. Yeah. Um. That the main event with see, Cena Miz. Mm-hmm. Was terrible, so bad the Rock couldn't save it. Oh and yeah, it, it it was bad. Yeah, and the IC title, I like bad guys. I really do. Like, there's a reason Ric Flair and Scott Hall are two of my favorite wrestlers of all time. Mm-hmm. I love the bad guy. Right. And first time and first time I've ever cared about the Miz is now, and I yeah. don't like him, but I love his in-ring work, if that makes any sense. Yeah. So you think he's going to retain? I think he's going to retain for the simple fact of they're going to just... I think they're going to let him beat the holding it thing. A hooky talk. And I think I think he's going to retire with it. Who won? Rollins. Rollins won? Yeah. Okay, the so, yep. Yeah, that was... So Rollins just beat uh, Finn Balor on Raw. I think that's that. So that right change, there, I need to change. There we my, go, Balor. My, it's gonna be Balor. I need to change my thing. It's gonna be Balor. Rollins just won on Monday, so yeah, that's, that's my, the that's likelihood my. of him winning at WrestleMania. I mean, they could. I just really hope it's not the fucking Miz. I'm gonna stick Rollins. The Miz just had a baby. Yeah, well, that's cool. <laughs> a lot of people have fucking babies, and I still hate them. <laughs> that's another fucking Miz I'm gonna have to watch in twenty fucking years. Um, Miz Junior. Oh God! All right, so then are I'm you, are really, really mad? no, because you can say this when he comes out, they give him the nickname because you know it's going to be so much more bad. Yeah, than, it's going to be the Miz Jizz. Yeah, it's be the Jizz, <laughs> the Jizz. Yeah. Oh, uh, all right. So your next match, I'm hoping, is the main event, but it's probably not going to be because Brock Lesnar has a clause in his. Uh, contract that says he has to be a dick and um so the next match which better be the main event is going to be aj styles who is the wwe champion versus shinsuke nakamura the rumble winner um it's it's i mean it's gonna i can't imagine if this match not being the match of the night yeah um i really hope they give them the main event spot because he's the rumble winner the main, the match before that should be Charlotte and Asuka because she's also the Rumble winner, so you should definitely let them go back to but back. I don't think they're going to do three title matches in a row. Oh, yeah. They'll have some bullshit. Or at least not three major title matches. Yeah. They'll probably have some bullshit match in between that's like your fluff match because you don't want, you know, have you don't want to kill it. Have one of the tag team matches. Yeah. Um, so I have Nakamura going over because it is like way overdue. And the only reason it's not, like, the only reason... He is not champion because he's on the same show as AJ Styles. I think that's the. You know, I think that's one of the main. Other than they didn't know what to do with him when they came into the you know, the main roster. Right. But I can't imagine him not winning this title. Yeah. I mean, I wouldn't be. I would be okay if AJ Styles won, which surprises me because I was never an AJ Styles fan until he became. Really. I never. I. I don't know what it was. I just. See, I, I, I that lo- baby face, flippy shit. I just it was no character. He was just. I, I loved him that whole you know making the X division kind of. Thing. Oh yeah, I thought those matches were awesome, but uh, I never thought he would be a world champion. W, especially WWE. I never right. thought that was going to happen. Um, yeah. But I got I got Nakamura winning. I can't. I just I can't see them not putting him up. I, I see this feud going a very long way, mm-hmm. and the only way it going a long way is AJ retaining. Um, 
Well, I don't know. I think they could just go. They could do like a Charlotte and Sasha, like we're talking about. Except for not switching the titles, you can just have them feud for a while after this. And they already have history. Have Nakamura winning here, um, AJ SummerSlam, and then basically the tie it off Survivor Series. Yeah, that's one way you can do it. Yeah, and then just have. Not, I would hope Nakamura retain from there, and then kind of go on. Cause so like, nobody knew how to do that. Yeah, no one knew how to do that. To um, what, which one? The men's. Oh, uh, women's. Might oh, have. no, the women's still no. has the 10. Yeah, yeah. The 10's who they have. Or it's 11, but who do they have? Nobody. Nobody. No. Well, yeah, it's all the same people, I think. Yeah. Um. So who do you have for the main event? I, or the <laughs> hopefully main event? Better be the main event. Uh, I, I have, have Nakamura. I have AJ because I love AJ. Um. I, I have liked it. the minute when he debuted in the Rumble, mm-hmm. I flipped. Oh, yeah. I flipped. Yeah, that out. shit was nuts. I did that <laughs> yeah, because you guys got to see the Titan Tron and everything. Yeah, yeah. Where it said I, I am for no yeah. Am Finn, holy shit. Yeah. yeah. Oh yeah. yeah. That was because like I was I was not there unfortunately. I, I was, was in not a hospital either. bed oh, wow. for that one. And that. the nurse ran into my room because she thought I was gonna die. <laughs> um but uh yeah, it was oh man, it was so good. Yeah. Yeah, all right, and then after that... Oh, oh yes, yes. <laughs> but I have Nakamura for that one, because essentially this is a Wrestle Kingdom rematch. Right. Because yes. this was 10, I think it was two, year, two or three years ago. Yeah. Yep. So that match was phenomenal. So... They uh, better yeah. they better give this, like, hey, you know what? It's WrestleMania. Take as much time as yeah, you want. Give oh, like yeah. a half an hour. Oh, I, it, I it, think it'll go longer. If this is less than a half hour, I'd be surprised. Yeah. I think it's going to be a 40, 45-minute match. Yeah. yeah. I think it's going to be one of those ones where you legitimately look at the guys and go, they're fucking exhausted. Yeah. Like See, they know forever. each other because they wrestle in New Japan. Mm-hmm. So this is going to be a high flying brutal match. Yeah. But I think Nakamura is going to walk away with it. But it's not going to, like we were saying, not going to end the feud, though. Yeah. It's, yeah. It's oh, beginning, no. Beginning of the feud. Yeah. It definitely should be. Because I can't really think of anybody else on SmackDown that could that could take the, the reins like that. I can see them going with this is Daniel Bryan. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but he's in a tag match now, and he'll be in that feud Malcolm for a Moore while. Wins, and then you do the um, what is it called? The Superstar Shakeup. Yeah. Yeah. AJ goes to Raw and becomes part of the Balor Club. That would be cool to give them even more of a nephew to the Bullet Club. Pretty cool. Yeah, maybe you know, maybe Finn Balor could have the Balor Club help him win the uh, IC title. Not, they're not gonna go that far, at least not yet. Yeah, I, mean, I would love to see the start of the. I mean, the real start of that. You know what right. I mean? Is anyone else surprised that the Balor Club is not a, the Carl Anderson? Carl Anderson. Yeah, Gallows are probably, not they, taking, again. They're probably gonna be part of the Andre. Yeah, that's such killer. A, it's so yeah. annoying. They're so good. Yeah. All right, and then, nerds. Yeah. yeah, love it so much as we say that inside a comic book store. That's true. <laughs> All right, and then your last match is going to be Brock Lesnar with Paul mm. Heyman, who is the Universal Champion, against Roman fucking Reigns. So you match it's, it's, that we all knew was going to happen a year ago. I'm mm-hmm. blowing up your toilet during this match. Oh my <laughs> god, I'm, I'm not. I I hate both. Of yeah, these honestly, right I don't care who wins. Um, it's probably going to be Roman. Uh, if especially if Brock's the, not coming back, I want back. Roman to win because I want the belt off of Brock. Because yes. the belt has nothing to it anymore. Yeah, yeah. It's true. Because it's defended. It's been defended what four times? Yeah, maybe like, five. Yeah, I think like maybe in five a times year. in a year. Yeah. yeah, in a year. Yeah, and that's like if you count WrestleMania. Yeah, you know? and I I love the like talking like when he won it at Mania and stuff like that. You know, I love the whole Goldberg angle they did. Yeah, yeah. it was cool to see him back. Should he have ever won the title? Absolutely not, uh, because I didn't like what you're saying. It was defended very little, yeah. and then it went to Brock, and it got defended very little. Yeah, and I've always wanted a long reigning oh, champion. No, Goldberg winning was a month later he lost it. Yeah, yeah, he, he won it at the title. Yeah, he yeah. squashed Owens to get it. Yeah, and, and then lost it the next month. Yeah, I would love. I've been wanting a really long reigning champion. A year long champion would be so cool. But when the guy wrestles five times, it doesn't feel like he's been a long yeah. that long of a champion. So we want a basically a true fighting defending yeah. champion. Right. Brock Lesnar is not that because yeah. defending means every pay per view. Right. You have a competitor. Maybe the same three same guy for for the pay per view is fine. So, right. But as long as it's defended. Yeah. What was your what was your favorite last heel champion? My favorite last heel champion. 
Mine. I mean, how far back are we going? Oh, I, I, I could go way back, but we're not going to do that. Can I say the last decade? Yeah. I'm going to go Edge. I was about to just say Edge. Wow. Yeah, I've never been a big Edge guy. Um, Because he's a big guy. I've never been a big Edge guy. I I wasn't really into it much then. That's kind of when I started getting out of it was the whole rated RKO thing. and um, Heel champion? I don't know. Because I've said this multiple times to both of you, and both of you don't understand it. I hated CM Punk. I couldn't stand him. I never understood the hype. I wasn't around during it, so, and then after seeing it, I'm like, mm, I don't know why. He's, he's, he's a good wrestler, and he had a good, but yeah. I mean, yeah, he wasn't The whole, like, I'm the best, best in the world kind of thing, you're like, mm, you're the best now because it's a very, like, stagnant do, roster, you know what I mean? That was, like, like, in the dark times. Those are good eight I mean, they years. Brought, they had to bring ECW back. Yeah. yeah. I mean, right. ECW, no, no disregard to ECW, because ECW was great. Right. But it was WWE ECW. Yeah. So right. it was... Mild, mild. Yeah, it was mild. ECW yeah. name only. Yeah, yeah. They yeah. tried to do the hardcore. So do you, right, do you think you'd like Roman Reigns more if he went heel? Yes. Yeah, I don't see. The thing is, is Roman Reigns is my favorite member of the Shield. I do not really care for Rollins. I especially do not care for fucking Dean Ambrose. Which I don't if Dean understand. Ambrose comes back as Braun Strowman's partner, then I hope they fucking lose. If Dean Ambrose walks in and uh, lunatic fringe, nope, fucking lose. Braun Strowman turn on him right now and lose. Um, Roman Reigns is not the worst in the world. Uh, I think he gets way too much shit because it's just kind of cool to hate him, like it's John Cena again. Yeah. Um, but him being champion and that just, I just don't get. He does not. He doesn't look like a champion. You know what I mean? Like even though Braun or Brock Lesnar is what he is, he looks like a champion. You see right. him and you're like, that guy's gonna fucking destroy you. But see, if Roman does turn heel, he needs to drop the shield. Yes. Yeah. The whole vest. May I mean go back to Liaki. I mean not not the, just the attire, yeah, not just, not the name. Mm-hmm. Be Roman Reigns, or even just Reigns. Right. Yeah. Be a heel, be champion, and be named Reigns. Yeah. Right. You can go back to that. maybe or you, tights just be, just or, be called just be called Roman because and and wear the suit to the ring, the whole nine yards. And just be above everybody else like he was in FCW. Right. I want to do like a suit. I, I'd make him more not Uso, but not the Miz. Okay. I can, yeah. see, I can see what you're saying. Uh, make, you can make also him do it. Stylish. Well, not, you could, not really stylish. Just like, it's not like a suit. Over the top stylish, maybe? You think he would be a good Heyman guy? No. No. No? Absolutely not. You want I him to do that, his own mic work? No. You want you as a heel. You wouldn't I want, want you wouldn't want Heyman being his no, advisor. So I want Jimmy Hart to be his advisor. Oh god. <laughs> I told you this. I need I need some old school managers in my life. God yes. damn it. You could have Jim Cornette. That'd be awesome. Oh yes. Follow him out with a tennis racket. I yes. don't care. <laughs> right. I don't uh, no, I do not want I would not think he would be a good Heyman man. So I guess that's the unanimous on that one is Roman for that one. Roman's yeah. going to win that. I yeah. mean, they've been yeah. building it for so long, I can't imagine they're not going to give it to him. So let's do a little quick side note, side discussion. Okay. The next Hammond guy. Next Hammond guy. I want it to be Nakamura. <laughs> I think cool. that Nakamura is, should never get on the mic because of his English is not great. And then I hate... The fans chanting what? Because to me, that's like so disrespectful to the guy. Yeah. You understand? We get it. We don't understand him. But I mean, that's super. You know what I mean? Let's not. And they were doing it. They did it to Asuka too and drove me crazy. <laughs> um, I would love Nakamura. I think if Nakamura turned heel and and AJ Styles was the face trying to get the title back, I think that would be awesome. If you have if you have Paul Heyman as his advisor, because Nakamura is you know he's the king of strong style. Like he's. He's a smaller kind of. He's a smaller Japanese Brock Lesnar. I mean, essentially, he's just a guy that's just gonna beat the piss out of you. I mean, you do it this way. Okay, it's your SmackDown pick. Would it be a Raw pick? I don't know. Uh, I would like it. I would like for Braun Strowman to to win. I would like for him to beat Reigns and then for him to be a Heyman guy. Really? Yeah. Because that all I, I see is Heyman screaming from the edge of the ring, "Don't do it!" <laughs> and him actually doing it, mm-hmm. and it just be a bunch of hand holding, yeah. head yeah. holding. Yeah, I, can, I, can, I would love to. I would like for him. To, I can see the Nakamura Strowman not as much. Yeah, the, the only one uh, I I'm not really sure on who else I would put as a Heyman guy on Raw. Maybe 
I don't know. Maybe if you're gonna turn somebody, I mean, I don't know. Rousey. Yeah, cause she could have a mouthpiece, and that would be a good one. Especially Give her the mouthpiece. Especially if she, let her come in and just dominate. Yeah, have her turn heel. Have her beat the shit out of Kurt Angle. She's a full time. She's a full time person. Right. Uh, you know, work this whole angle. I mean, she could just work the angle that she could beat the men, but she just dominates the women's division. She comes in, wins in thirty seconds, and yeah, or Herman it, just is the mouthpiece, or have yeah. or have Nia have Nia become like this super dominant heel, and then you have. Uh, I would like for him to have a stable. I would love for a stable to like uh, like the Heenan family. Yes, I would love it because Heenan the Heymans. Right, the Heymans. <laughs> I would love it because, like, uh, Hulk Hogan didn't feud these wrestlers. He was feuding the Bobby man. Heenan. Yeah. You know what I mean? He yeah. Every time Bobby Heenan's like, I'm going to get another guy to beat you. You know what I mean? Yeah. It's like Lex Luthor. That's pretty much what he was. He's like, I'm going to get another big dude to beat you yeah. or another one. I would love to have a Heyman family. Mm-hmm. I just do not care about that match at all. Mm-hmm. So, what do you think for your Raw? Finn. Finn, yes. Ooh, See, I was thinking he did, Rollins he too. Did, he he does play a good bad guy. Yeah, like he could be a part. Of, he could do the Balor Club thing and have him be his the spokesman. voice. Yeah, of the Balor or yeah. the, the Balor Club, right? Yeah, or man. even drop Anderson and Gallows and just have Finn and Heyman. Yeah, I can see Finn doing really well as a good heel, not even be as a co mouthpiece because Finn can talk, right? Yeah, but I think he would do well under Heyman. Hmm. Yeah. Now I could even write, you know, breaking away from Heyman Oops. kind of thing, at that type of thing, you know, have the demon break away from Heyman, like, cause you, if you're a Heyman guy, you're naturally gonna be a heel. Uh, oh, Heyman's yeah. too good of a heel. Oh, it's and, a bit of it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, two of my favorite people ever on the screen at the same time right now. We're looking at Kurt Angle and Paul Heyman. Yeah. Um, honestly, two Attitude Era just legends. Um, and we're watching them right now, completely ignoring the uh, podcast. <laughs> but um, I mean, Heyman's been around for eight decades. Yeah, because he's done ECW, I, he's done early WWE. Yeah, he was in he was in WCW. Yeah, he, he was, was actually I think Undertaker's manager in WCW. Yeah, he um, you remember? I don't know if you remember this. I don't think I watched a lot of WCW. Like WCW was my jam. Um, I can remember the last show he was on. And he came out in a sombrero and this whole nine yards. They they put something on him, uh, and he was just he was done with it. And you could see he was done with it. Paul E. Dangerously. Yeah. And um, I I remember somebody telling me because I was a kid at the time. Somebody telling me that oh you remember that manager Paul E. And I was like, not really. He's got his own show. And I was like, what? And I was like, yeah, you need to check this out. And somebody gave me my first tape of ECW. Oh. And I'm not I'm not lying, dude. I watched ECW, and I think the main event was Lionheart Chris Jericho versus, uh, I think it was like Mikey Whipwreck or something like that. It wasn't, okay. even, a, it wasn't even a good match. Right. Like, because Jericho just demolished him in like 40 seconds. But that's when I fell in love with ECW, because the Pitbulls... I think, oh god, this tape is so long ago. I remember seeing the Pitbulls, which was Perry Saturn and I forget what his name was, um, and somebody else, and being like, "This is amazing." <laughs> they were doing stuff I had never seen before, that high low yeah. and stuff like that. And then, um, what was his name? Getting dropped through like two tables and Sabu and all these other oh, guys. Yeah, I was dream. like. Oh, it was so good. At least got classics, or the alumni, essentially. Yeah. Are all great. Some are still, to this day, still fighting. I mean, Dreamer has his own federation. Dallas Hardcore. Yep, Dallas, Dallas Hardcore. Um, I love... Man. The whole Attitude Era was amazing. Yeah. It's just so good. I mean, just I have to Monday fall under, under that stereotype. Yeah, you're wrestling fans. We always going to think about you. No. Attitude Era was great. Yeah. I mean, yes, the PG era did kill it some, yeah. But they've had their greatness too. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Um, you you go from you go from Monday Night Wars to Attitude Era because I I the Attitude Era was inside the Monday Night Wars, yes, but it 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 went much further than the Monday Night Wars. Right. Um, 
But even Ruthless Aggression had really good times in it when, you yeah. know, you got the beginning of Cena and Orton. Evolution was amazing. I loved yeah. Evolution. Oh, yeah. Was, I mean, that was, that was the horseman of the, of the decade, of the yeah. time. Yeah, and if, if I agree with that, <laughs> my NWA, WCW self agreeing with Evolution as the horseman of the time, I 100% Oh, my God. What the fuck did I just walk into? Oh, Jesus you Christ. walked into Josh getting a horseman reference. <laughs> so let's talk about that. Um, <laughs> oh, my God. Um, you said and, Jim Cornette. You're lucky he, I didn't jump on it right then. I love Jim Cornette. And then he cuts off the podcast. Yeah, yeah. That's <laughs> well, where that we're going to end it. Yeah, no. that. Uh, well, well, we're going to cut that one. <laughs> I'm the host, and I don't like Rick <laughs> All right. <laughs> Rick Flair's just an old, dirty old uh, man. I got to see his last match. Well, his last soda E match, I guess you could say. What are you talking about? He just had a match for the KFC. Well, I was going to say, other than the Colonel <laughs> Rumble, <laughs> which he just kind of walks up and, like, barely tips the guys out of the ring. Yeah. Okay, well, we're actually going to end it. We're like an hour and a half into this or something. Yep, hour 25 minutes. All right, well, those are our predictions. Uh, my name is Jason, and I got Josh over here and Marcus. And uh, those are our predictions. So you guys have a good one.